Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fires and Tarot. I hope everyone is well or as good as you can be, living your best life. That's the goal, right? Just live your best life. Just do you. All right, so we're here for the work week top and bottom of the deck for, I keep forgetting the date, September 26th and 27th. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Do not take with you what does not belong to you. So if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. It might not be your story. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might find something that may resonate a little bit better. And as always, this is the top and bottom of the deck. So I'm going by the elements. It is Libra season. So air signs will go first and we'll go around the wheel accordingly. That being said, let's get the cards thrown down. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some messages for the upcoming weekend for my air sign friends, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? One more shuffle. Let's do it. All right. What's going on? Present state of being. Six of cups reversed, seven of swords in the upright. Oh! Possibly some salty feelings surrounding some lies and deception. Hmm. Not so fun soulmate to play with, huh? I don't think this one was. Okay. All right, well. Hmm. What happened? Three of Wands in the reverse and a Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right, well. You may have decided to stop waiting around for someone. Hmm. Someone or something, possibly some slow moving, slow moving energy of abundance. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, it, it's the slow horse. It really is. But it's the most promising one. But you didn't wait around for it. Hmm. Throw some clarifiers on that in a second. Hmm. 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 Present energy, the here and the now. Oh my. The world in the reverse, the Eight of Swords in the upper eye. It's unfinished business, and you're. Wow, cage your own thoughts. Oh boy. Some of you may be wondering if you should have, like, waited it out. Because there's unfinished business here, and you're. You're in a state of overthinking it. For real. Huh. Wow, okay. Hmm. All things being vice versa. Some of these kicking themselves in the butt. I don't know if it's you for not waiting around or if it's them for not going fast enough. Somebody's got some salty feelings and emotions, though. <sighs> Lies and deception. Huh. Okay. Well, what's coming in for this weekend? <clears throat> the lovers in the five of swords that lovers is in the upright thank god five of swords in the reverse i 
I don't like that Five of Swords in the reverse. Maybe a soulmate coming back to play? A reconnection possibly? There's a... I'm not liking how you're reconnecting though. Could possibly be a blow up. Huh, okay, well, I'm gonna pull these two and we're gonna look at those more toward the end here. Let's get some clarity, because uh, don't take this the wrong way, but air signs as usual, you guys are hard to read. A lot, a lot of crap going on. Mm. Lots of energy just blowing through this right now. Y'all throw me for a loop. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You want to talk. You both want to talk. Knight of Cups reversed. Empress reversed. Somebody has salty feelings because they don't know if things were like 100% on the level. Possible lies and deception of why something didn't grow or why a cup got spilled. Okay. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? I know what the Three of Wands means. We're not going to clarify that. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles came out, Nine of Wands came out. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, their walls were up. They were very heavily guarded. And they were just trying to wait patiently and see what fruited out of this. But somebody wasn't willing to wait around. Okay. Okay. Why the world? Why the world reversed? One card. Okay, I'll take two, you know, whatever. Eight of Swords reversed in the Emperor. Could be an area you're dealing with, doesn't necessarily have to be. This comeback around, it's like a role reversal. This comeback around, somebody's trying to, finally getting their crap together and taking charge and coming out of their head about their own situation up here. Possibly wanting to approach. Why do Eight of Swords upright? Whoever the other party is opposite that, all things being vice versa, is now all up in their head for their own decisions. That's what that feels like right now. One card. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ten of Wands reversed in the Fool. Energy's dealing right now. Whoever this Eight of Wands or Eight of Swords person is, whoever this Eight of Swords person is, (sighs) 
very, very heavily burdened by events of the past. Oh God, that's not a 10, that's a three. I can't read upside down, guys. Sorry. Three of Wands. Are... Well, that freaking changes everything, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Heavily burdened by events of the past. Why didn't I wait? Why didn't I just jump for it? Why didn't I jump for it? Why did I make them wait? Yeah, yeah, okay. This weekend. Oh, I see a comeback together, but I don't see it going well because there's definitely some, definitely some bad mojo surrounding this, some sour feelings and sour thoughts. Why is the lovers here? Eight of Cups reversed. It's a freaking return. What do you know? It's a coming back together. Somebody's gonna definitely going to return. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know who's going to reach out to who, but there's a reconnect coming this weekend. Why is the Five of Swords reversed here? I don't like that Five of Swords reversed. That, that's some bad mojo. That's some rough mojo. Two cards. Three of Swords reversed, Star reversed. Mm. One more. I'm hearing, I'm not heartbroken anymore, I'm pissed off. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't break my heart, you made me mad. And, and as most of you know, love and hate are controlled by the same chemicals in the brain, just different levels. You guys have heard me say that before. And when you're dealing with emotions, sometimes, especially sour ones, you really can't sort out what emotion you're feeling at what time. I'm not heartbroken anymore. I'm pissed off. So I'm going to throw one more on that just for kicks, yo. Okay. You're the one who honestly flipped. You guys got thrown. Eight of Wands. So the lines of communication are definitely going to be opening up. Um, what kind of communication? I guess that's up to you guys. That's star reversed. I don't see a healing coming. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Projected outcome of the situation. Five of Wands and a Two of Cups. Really? Really? Hmm. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. You going to have a squabble over dinner? Squabble over drinks? What are you doing? Fives are the card of change. Seven of swords reversed. Trues are going to come out. I like it. Believe it or not, I like it. It's all up to you guys how this goes down. If you decide to approach it in a confrontational way, okay. If you decide to approach it in a non-confrontational way, okay. <clears throat> Advice? Hierophant upright, nine of pentacles reversed. Hmm. 
I don't know who needs this little bit of advice, but... Mm. Be mindful that a blessed union, which is, I think this is what this is, in some weird roundabout way, don't let it become a codependency. Because there's, okay, how do I explain this? There's teamwork and doing things together to achieve a goal. And then there's codependency. Do you know the difference? Okay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know the difference, codependency is where you can't emotionally function without someone else. That's a very slippery slope and a rickety roller coaster. So let's not hop on that one, okay? A couple more t cards of advice and we're going to move on to our water sign, friends. Two of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords in the uprights. Try not to, hmm. When juggling your emotions, and I'm sensing a lot of emotional juggling here. Stop, take a breath, think about what you're gonna say, okay? Let your communication be clear. This is about how you approach the situation. Stop. Take a breath and be clear in your conversation. This, this does not have to be World War III or like the throwdown of the century. Okay, it's going to be that if that's what you turn it into because I know feelings are sour. And you may have been left without knowing the truth of a situation for a very long time. Okay, that's where we're at with that. Wow. So much for quick reads. That that took a minute. I apologize. That took a minute. That that took a minute to spit out, but sometimes it takes a minute to get down to what the cards are trying to say. Air signs, take a breath. I know you know how to do it. Breathe. It's what you're good at. Just breathe. Okay. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on for you guys this weekend? September 26th and 27th. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Magician. Things may not be going so well financially. So you're manifesting new things. You're possibly, you could be job hunting. You could be thinking of starting your own business, possibly. You know, things of that nature. But things are not so abundant. Okay. So what does this have to do with that? What happened? Hmm. Queen of Cups reversed in the devil. Oh. Well. All things being fluid, this being that. Hmm. There's an emotional closing off here. Sp 
spilling of cups. Huh, okay. Maybe you're dealing with an emotionally closed off person. Maybe you were a little bit emotionally closed off yourself. And then comes the devil. Could be just a Capricorn you're dealing with. I also have Aries sitting here. A little bit of earth, a little bit of water. Huh. I don't like this devil. I don't like it at all. I'm going to throw clarifiers on that in a minute. I do not like that devil card at all. That's some toxic stuff coming in. The here and the now. Mm. Hmm. Maybe that's why things aren't so abundant. Are we talking about money or are we talking about something else? Hmm? Hmm? Things a little rocky, water signs? Are the waterfalls going over the rocks right now? I think maybe. I think maybe indeed. Hmm. Four of Cups. Someone's feeling ignored. Someone's either feeling ignored themselves or ignoring what someone's trying to hand them. There's a loss of passion here. <clears throat> like, this just isn't working for me. Hmm. I don't know what's the cart and what's the horse. Is there a loss of passion because you're feeling ignored or... Are you... What started the parade and what ended it? That's what's hard to sort out right now. Okay, what's going on this week? Oh, no. Well. The good news is Five of Wands reversed is going to be an end of the conflict. Bad news, Six of Swords. Somebody's, somebody's, uh, somebody's checking out. Mm. Mm. I guess, you know, depending on who's doing what, who's good news, who's bad news. Mm. This is what I don't like about things being fluid, guys. Because it's hard to tell who's doing what. It's hard to tell who... who, who where my heart's supposed to go. And I know I'm not supposed to get emotionally involved. I'm an empath. I can't help it. I see cards like this and it's like, oh my God, I want to give somebody a hug. I either want to give somebody a hug or slap somebody in the face. I don't know what. Mm. What are you doing? Mm. Why? Okay. Universe source and spirit getting some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please. All right. Um, I'm not going to clarify that Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody's shut off emotionally. What's up with this devil card? Because that is so open ended right now. Oh my God. What is up with this devil? The lovers and the Eight of Swords reversed. Oh no. One more. It gave me four. <laughs> so I'm going to take four. Hmm. Eight of swords reversed. Nine of swords reversed. Ten of wands reversed. Ten of cups reversed. Emperor lovers. Could be an Aries. Could be a Gemini. On top of a devil. This. Oh, wow. This is one of those crazy connections. It 
could be obsessions, could be drugs, could be... I don't have any upside down threes, so I'm not calling third party situation. But something came in and just everything just went to crap. I'm hearing someone did something without thinking, possibly because the other person involved may have been a little bit emotionally closed off. And it just... Wow. I got three upside down tents. Everything just got blown up. Okay. Why is the four of cups here? Ace of Wands upright. Magician reversed, Empress. Oh, snap. I don't know who this is for. Somebody may... Hmm... This is someone you were very heavily involved with, like someone potentially you were married to or have children with. Somebody may try manipulation, using the kids as manipulation. I don't know who this is for. Someone being manipulative. try to start over and you start well ain't taking it that's where you're at right now someone's trying to start over and the other party's like nope nope I don't want your wand I don't want your cup I don't want to start over why is the ace of wands reversed here I'm not taking 20 cards why is the ace of wands reversed here I am not taking 20 cards. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here? Thanks. Nine of Wands reversed. Somebody's throwing in the towel. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't even think I need to clarify this. I... Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm hearing a song in my head. I forget who sings it. I forget what it's called. I knew it was over when the fighting stopped. That's the lyric that keeps going over inside my head. I knew it was over when the fighting stopped. Okay. So confrontation ends. Somebody's moving on. One card for him, please. Five of Cups. Sadness. Wow. One more. Karma. 
Judgment call made. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Seven of Wands. Huh. I don't think this is permanent. Outcome being Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Seven of Wands in the upright. This isn't permanent. No. Hmm. One card. Queen of Wands. And end result of this, somebody's going to get their fire back. Someone's going to regain their self-worth. I don't know who, but someone is. Cherry reversed. Eventually that gap in distance is going to close. Just not right now. Not right now. Oh no, I think the healthy distance to try to sell things down is not a bad thing. No, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. No. Oh, 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 when it finally stops spinning the world. Closure. Hmm. It's interesting, water signs. You could have been arguing about money. Sometimes, when we have a lot on our mind, we emotionally close off. All right, let's get some advice. Maybe it all started with money. Oh, that golden coin screws stuff up a lot. Okay, your advice. The chariot in the upright and the ace of swords in reverse. You know what? Have that gap there for a while. Distance yourselves. Breathe. I think this is going to be the theme of the day, guys. Breathe. Take a breath. <laughs> you go over there. You go over there. It's okay. Stop and take a breath. Five of swords. Tower reversed. You know what? Stop. Take a breath. When there's, you know, after the dust settles... Decide if there's anything to pick up to rebuild a tower. Ultimately, the end of a cycle is the ultimate outcome. But but the story is not over. Maybe this is just an impasse in a relationship. Maybe this is just something you're going through. Just let it let yourself go through it. Don't push. Don't push the universe. You know the universe is smarter than you, right? You know that. Smarter than you. I know you don't like to believe that, but the universe is smarter than you. The universe knows what's best for you and what's going on. You have a certain amount of free will. Absolutely. Absolutely you have free will. But the universe knows best. He is the Heavenly Father. He knows best. And just because you don't get what you want when you want it doesn't mean you're not going to get what you need when you need it. I'm sorry. That's just how that works, friends. You can't always get what you want, but you will get what you need. And you will get what you have coming. You can manifest, but you say all the time you can manifest anything you want. Yeah, yeah, you can. That's part of free will. And the universe is indeed listening. But it's not instant rice, friends. You can't just shove it in the microwave and let it zap for five minutes and have dinner. No. Sometimes the universe takes its time. Because it's not instant rice, kids. It's not.
Because the universe knows you don't always know what you want when you think you want it. That's a story for another day. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys? Seven of Swords and Temperance. Well, mm, that's making plans. That's not lies and deception. No. That's someone lying in wait. Someone being very patient. Huddled there with their swords. Okay. Well, what are we patiently waiting for, Fire Sign friends? What happened? Oh, I see. We weren't always patient. Seven of Pentacles reversed and a hermit. Mm, some spiritual growth. Connecting with source, finding the light, walking the path. Okay. Did you get a little bit impatient with the path? Is that what happened? You know, we're very prone to that. Fire signs want what they want and they want it now. Well, we're going to go back to it. You can't always get what you want when you want it. What's going on right here, right now? The moon in the upright. The page of swords in the reverse. You just don't know. There's so many unknowns. So many unknowns. I don't know what's going on. No one's telling me anything. I can't get any information. Never were patient, were you? Next. Hmm. This weekend. Excellent. Very good. The fool in the upright, the devil in the reverse. Well, going to kick off some cement shoes about something and tread down a new path. Or some of you may be going skydiving. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. You do you. Hmm. Save this for the end. Stop looking at your phone. Okay, come on. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for my fire sign friend? Friends, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Fire sign friends. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and the rising Venus. I gotta know. Knight of Wands reversed. Oh gosh. Knight of Wands reversed. Commitment. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm just playing. You know we don't commit to anything, right? I'm a Sagittarius, I can say that. You're waiting for the commitment. I like it. I like it. Okay. Not so patiently waiting. I don't need to clarify that. Let's clarify what's going on right here, right now. Why is the moon card here? Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. I just have Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries. Sagittarius on the table. A little bit of air, a little bit of fire. A little bit of earth. Six of Wands, upright, three of swords, reversed, clarifying the moon. Oh, 
I'm thinking you got a little patient. Maybe you broke somebody's heart. Or vice versa. You're wondering when they're going to return. Or when they're going to return to end your heartbreak. Okay. Is that what somebody got a little bit impatient about? Maybe you're waiting for resolution after a conflict. The Six of Wands does come after the Five. I don't think they're talking, though, with that Page of Swords reversed. I'm not going to go very far into that. We're going to go into this weekend. Just, you know. Okay, I didn't ask anything, but okay. Knight of Cups reversed. Hmm. I lay that across both of them. A resolution of some unfinished business. Why the fool? Empress, yes. Starting to cycle over, possibly. Possibly something that's going to grow. I like it. Why the devil reversed? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm. One more. of cups very nice they may be disconnecting from something right now disconnecting from some toxic stuff maybe they're in rehab I don't know maybe they're disconnecting from a toxic relationship I don't know they don't have a lot to offer you at this point but they have love they have an amazing amount of love and emotion for you they want to resurrect this. They want to start over. They see potential in this. What's the outcome? Hmm. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the upright. Why the Ace of Wands reversed? Seven of Wands. It's not going to start right away. They had... Seven of Wands fighting that unseen opponent. Their toxic stuff. They gotta get through their toxic stuff, but that emotional fulfillment's coming. I like it. Guys, I like it. Nine full cups. But you gotta be patient and wait. You're being patient. Your advice, the world in the upright, the nine of swords in the reverse. Don't overthink this. You got to let this play out. You have to allow cycles to end before new cycles can begin. They're in the process of ending a cycle. Don't get all up in your head about it. Don't overthink it. Don't get your fur all up. Oh my gosh. It is swords upright and the, and the devil reversed. Shadow side reversed. It's the devil. Don't get all consumed with what they're disconnecting from. Allow for the process. Don't let it consume you. You just gotta be chill, yo. Fire signs. Calm down. And I love it when I can say that. Calm down. I am not blasting you. I am one and I know how I am. You just gotta calm down. It's coming, baby. It's coming. Okay. That was easy. That was super easy. I liked that. Sometimes it's like pulling teeth and sometimes it's like pouring cheese whiz right out of the microwave, you know?
Okay. Earthsigns, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What do we have for my Earth sign friends this weekend? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Ace of Pentacles, Upright, Ten of Cups, Reversed. Well, the slow growing seed of abundance may have left you unhappy. I'm not sensing back porch. Why are we so unhappy if the seed's there? What happened? Ace of Cups and the Hermit. Okay. was one full cup. What happened to the other nine? Could have been a Virgo you were dealing with. The spiritual path of healing. Did you get a cup at a bad time? Is that how that went down? Did you get a cup at a, at a bad time? Were you in like this process of introspection, finding your inner light, working on you? Because, you know, that's why seeds grow slow sometimes. Self-work is important, and I'm proud of you. Here and now, King of Cups reversed, Princess of Swords, huh? Hmm. You may have gotten a little bit of information as of recently that someone may have lost the feels. Okay. Yeah, they handed you a cup a while back, but you were working on you, and now they handed the cup to somebody else. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because you had self-work you had to do. Guess what? There's the other nine cups right there. Right there. And a better offer. I mean, let's face it. The seed, you know, didn't grow. Maybe this is better for you. It's an offer. Hmm. Let's get a little bit of a uh, clarity here. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. I'm doing this a little differently now. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit kind of gets some clarity in the cards on the table from our Earth sign, friends. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is pretty cut and dry. They get a little easier once I wake my brain up, I guess. Wake up the intuition. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The 
world. Yeah, that cycle done ended. That was the close of a chapter and the start of a new one. Okay. I know what the hermit means. We're not going to clarify that. Why is the king of cups here? Why is the king of cups reversed here? The sun and the two of wands reverse. One more. Yeah, it was one of those connections for sure. They didn't want to put the work into it. They got stuck at the crosswords for a minute, decided this is not a connection I want to put my work into, and there you go, lost the feels. Okay. I want to know more about this Princess of Pentacles. Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. But yeah, this this is definitely this is a positive energy flow offer. This is gonna improve things. But it's gonna be slow going, so you gotta be patient. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Outcome. Three of Cups reversed. Ace of Eight of Pentacles reversed. What? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Cups reversed here? Strength reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. I don't see you going for this. I don't see you wanting to put the work into it. Why? I mean, you do you. By all means, you do you. But why? Mm. Three of Cups reversed, clarified... They could be coming out of a, just coming out of a relationship. Seven Pentacles reversed. For whoever this is resonating for, it, either you're too fresh out of the relationship for it, or they are. So that's why I don't see you taking this. Let's get your advice. You may decide you just don't have the patience for it. King of Wands, Prince of Swords. Absolutely. Know all the information that you can possibly know before moving forward. I don't blame the cards for telling you that. At all. Know all that there is to know. Hmm, the moon in the upright and the emperor in the reverse. I don't know who this one's for. This has got to be for somebody special. If there's too many unknowns, do not move forward. 
do you. Washing my hands of the whole thing, you guys. It's been fun. Just under an hour. I gotta get ready to go to the bread and butter job. Be blessed, friends. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm gonna start the readings. Hopefully when I get home from the bread and butter job tonight, we'll see how late it is. Um, we'll see what the weekend brings, but all sunside readings for the month of October will be up by the first come hell or high water because I am getting my mojo back now that I have equipment functioning and my body's functioning as well as good as it's going to for the meantime but that's a story for another day I love you guys be blessed thanks for coming by we'll see you if not sooner definitely for your work week top and bottom on Monday catch you later